First things first, looks like our cilantro is all dried up. That looks great. Let's go do something with it. And making cilantro salt is just as simple as taking your cilantro that's been all dehydrated, adding your salt, and just crunching it up through a strainer. That's simple. So yeah, just run it through as many times as you like just to get it all worked up in there and look at that. Taste it. Store it in a little baggie and there you go. Don't let the cops catch you with this. They might arrest you for packing flavor. So as I said earlier in the day, I got these guavas here. I don't know if you ever smelled them, but oh, they're fragrant. They have this fruity awesomeness to them that it's unmistakable, irremistakable, irro, irro something, unmistakable. I don't know. Either way, you can't mistake it for anything else because they smell that good. So what I'm going to do with these is make a simple syrup to flavor whatever drinks I want to drink. Lemonade, limeade, tangeloade. That's right. I got tangelos. So this is a tangelo right here. It's kind of like a mix between an orange and a tangerine, and uh, except for like the skin. It's a little bit thinner and it's easier to peel. Birds sound excited, so uh, I don't know. Never seen one of these. Kind of interesting. They smell like an orange. Kind of tastes like a mix between the two. But I'll save one of these to eat tomorrow. It's a nice little healthy snack. If you've never seen one of these before, you can eat them just as they are. But they have these little seeds here, and um, yeah, it's seeds, but they taste delicious. I don't feel like eating them. I think I could get more use out of the simple syrup so let's get to it I decided I'm gonna add some uh, tangelo juice with that guava I took off the orange zest to use later on and um, yeah I did it with this thing don't get the white pith though when you're doing it because it's real bitter and uh, we just want this simple syrup to be simple sweet and full of fruity goodness okay so in here I got a cup of water, a cup of tangelo juice, and my guavas. And I got a cup of sugar. I know what you're saying, that's a lot of sugar. Did you steal it from the uh, condiments? No, I didn't. So uh, give me a little bit of a break because if I would have stole that many packets, a lot of people who want the morning coffee are going to be angry with me. So just let this one slide this time, all right? And I'll show you something else later with the other sugar packets that I got. That's not such, that's not cheating, I guess, so. Just a quick note, I decided to uh, give these a good smushing just so they can release all their, their pectin and sweet flavorness. So here it is after a couple of minutes. Sugar's all melted, everything's all bubbly. The guava got a chance to cook a little bit. I'm just going to turn off the heat, cover it up, let it steep, and cool down. So now we're going to strain the simple syrup, take your time, still a little bit hot, don't do that, that'll make a mess. Looks pretty tasty already. 